we go on a recreation of the historic road race circuit at Elkhart Lake, Wisconsin. Turning right at the golf course. There are green signs all along the way that you can look up on the website that give you landmarks that don't denote certain turns and um, artifacts of the course. Go as fast as I can here, taking pedestrians and traffic into account. degree right-hander onto County Road A and these are the same exact roads as they used back in the early 50s. Coming up another sign here on the green, Hamels Hollow. A quick sweeper here right turn onto a long straight called the schoolhouse straight beautiful day for a drive there's a sign for the schoolhouse straight turn here we're going to take JP a 90 degree right hander they actually did not use this particular part of the track or the course I should say those first years um, and for reasons which we'll see shortly and I think it was a smart move to not use it this was the original design to take this short straight about less than a half mile problem is it isn't the road itself it, it undulates a little bit sort of a washboard surface here but if we get to the end you'll see why they didn't use this stretch and they continue to go straight where we just turned up ahead here is a decreasing radius 90 degree turn with as you can see, very little runoff, in fact, virtually none. So, very dangerous, even back in the early 50s when the sport was very dangerous to begin with. But they were smart enough to recognize that and, and not use this particular stretch. And I think that was wise. So going in through Peck's Alley here, down to County Road J, and moving back into the village itself. A quick right turn. And right up 
ahead here on the left where the feed mill used to be was the original start finish line. There's a sign denoting that as well. 1951 to 1952 start finish with a, there would have been a big banner across the road. With the first turn here is a 90 degree or close to a 90 degree right hander. And then a quick blast down the main street. We will take it slow today. Second turn is called the hard left for obvious reasons, right at Seepkins Resort. And then this road would have continued straight to where we first started on the video tour. The Osthoff Hotel now blocks that road, but um, it is a public roadway, we just don't allow cars on it. So that's almost one complete lap of the historic road circuit at Elkhart Lake. I hope you enjoyed it.